Hey, Tim Scal here, ABB HVAC Application Engineering. Today we're going to talk about setting up a drive, specifically the ACH 580, to give the building automation system a notice, essentially a relay output, whenever the drive has been put into a hand status. So why would you care that the drive is in hand versus auto mode? Well, in auto mode, the drive is following the command from the building automation system. So when the demand is lower, the drive will slow down and save energy, save money on utility bill. But sometimes something gets broken, somebody, some, maybe something's in a maintenance mode, maybe you need to override the automation system and a drive gets put in hand, which is a great short-term tool. However, far too often, I don't even want to admit how many times I've been on a job site where I walked over and saw the drive sitting there operating at hand at 60 hertz or some really fast speed. All those energy savings of having a drive out the window. So now we're going to talk about how do I program that drive to give me a relay output to the building automation system when the drive is not in auto mode. And then, oh, by the way, for all the controls contractors out there, don't forget to throw an alarm in your automation system when you see that the drive is in hand mode to kind of remind the chief engineer, the folks in charge of the facility that, yeah, the drive's in, in hand. Don't forget about it. So I'm going to go into menu. A lot of my videos, I talk about using primary settings. Today, for this one, I'm going to go into the parameters just to do it that way. I go into the parameters. I come into the complete list. And what I want to do is scroll down to where the relay output is at. So the relay outputs are right here. You can see standard DI for digital inputs and relay outputs. So I'm going to go into my relay outputs here. We start with the digital inputs. I'm going to scroll past those quickly, all my six of my digital inputs. And now I'm going to go to my relay outputs. So I can see the status of my relays right here in parameter 10.21. And let's say I'm going to change relay output one. So my factory default settings, relay output one is damper control, relay output two is running, and relay output three is whether I'm faulted or not. So let's say I'm not using a damper, so I'm going to borrow that relay. I'm going to repurpose it. I'm going to go in here and edit relay output one. And what I want to do is know when the drive is essentially in remote mode. So I'm scrolling through remote and auto are essentially the same thing. So here's remote control. I'm going to hit save. And what I'm going to do is just scroll up just a little bit so everybody can see my relay output status is here. So I'm going to go ahead and run this in hand. And you can see my relay right there, 0, 1, 0. When I go to auto, that last zero right there, that's relay output number one, the one on the far right here, just toggled. So it's letting me know, hey, now I'm in auto mode. But if I go here, now that relay is toggling in zero. So you probably can't quite hear my demo and the relay clicking in the background. But believe me, when I go from auto to hand and you see that zero, excuse me, that one go to a zero, there's a click in my demo case right now. Let me know the relay is, is changing state. And you can see that right here in the relay output status. So if this relay output one was wired back to building automation system, the BMS would know right now that it is in hand mode. And once it was in auto mode, it would know that it was in auto or as the drive calls it in, in remote mode there in that parameter. So there you have it. A very simple way to save potentially thousands of dollars by reminding the chief engineer that somebody had put this particular drive in hand mode, throw a flag in the automation system, and that'll make sure that it doesn't get left in hand mode for days, weeks, or months. A uh, little pro tip on this one, if you're running a BACnet MSTP or any BACnet integration to the drive, there's actually a BACnet object uh, for this. My favorite is using the multi-state value to see if I'm in hand off or auto. So if I do this over back net, it's actually free. I'm not even running that wire. So if you just notice it got a little quieter, I just shut the demo off in the background. There you have it. If you have any questions, reach out to your local ABB representative or your friendly ABB HVAC application engineer at the factory. Thank you.